The second exam topic is again similar to the first one. Here we need to graph and analyze power functions. It is just like the previous one. Uh, we will look into this. Now over here, you have been given a function. Function might vary. You must look into the degree, the sign, the co leading coefficient, and then when you graph the basics of it, you will understand the domain and the range. Now over here, you will analyze the given function. The leading coefficient is minus 10. Over here, don't forget the negative symbol as well. And then the sign of this is negative. And then the degree, that is the highest power is 6. Now this is even. Even means it's a parabola. It will be either like this if, if it was positive. It's like this if it's negative. If it was cubic, then it's like this if it's positive. It will decrease if it's negative. So this is the thing. Now, based on this function, we can understand now, okay, you need to know the graph. Here it's negative, and you don't need to draw the exact graph. You know it will go something like this. So what is the graph? It's going downwards. It's opening downwards. So it doesn't matter what, your f of x value will be negative both the times. Whereas when x is negative infinity, it is going downwards minus infinity. Even when it is increasing, also it is going downwards, that is negative infinity. That is what it says. x as it goes to minus infinity, f of x is minus infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, f of x is negative infinity. And that's it. And then over here, domain, it's all real numbers. But the range, as we just now saw over here, is all numbers less than y equals to 0, less than or equal to 0. Why? Because there is no part of the graph that's going upwards. So this is the thing about parabola. So that's the thing. This would be the graph, basic of the graph. Now you can see all the values are below. This is the thing. Now we will see some more functions. One more thing I want to recall over here is, see, over here they have just put minus. It can be 10 or you can see the problems 2, 3, 4. It's fine. Unless and until there is something added or subtracted, this won't change. And your first two exam topics is mainly dealing with just this. So it doesn't make much of a difference. So it's fine. You should just know the basics of the graph, when it will change into positive, negative, and so on. So in this, you need to graph in this problems, or they have just asked for the domain and range. So it's very simple. If you know the basics of the graph, that is more than enough. Over here, uh, this is again a parabola so it's positive if it's a positive parabola it just opens upwards so minus infinity or plus infinity as x tends to minus infinity or plus infinity f of x is always positive infinity whereas the domain is all real numbers range is all numbers greater than or equal to zero why because it starts from here now so zero to positive infinity now the next one over here you can see is a cubic but it's negative 2 so it will be just like what we had seen just a while ago now this one don't worry if it's negative half fraction doesn't matter the graph will remain the same since it's an odd function and it's negative left side will open upwards and then if this is the x and y axis this side will go downwards so now over here as x tends to minus infinity the f of x value goes to positive infinity and as x tends to positive infinity, that means that when it's going to the right side, where is the graph going? To negative infinity. I hope this is thorough by now. And the domain is, we can see, all real numbers. And range is also all real numbers because the graph will extend towards both the sides. Here again, we have positive parabola, just like this. It's the same thing. Now, that's uh, over here we have two more functions. So again, a uh, very simple one. Over here, they have to roll to graph. We can easily graph them. Over here, it's a parabola. Graph it and you can tell what's the domain and range. And over here, we have a cubic. For whenever the power is cubed, the range and the domain is always all real numbers. So you don't have to worry if it's x to the power 3. doesn't matter what is there at the right side. It's always up to infinity. So this is the thing. And now one more thing before I finish this video. Over here, it may not be asked, but if it is asked x to the power square plus 2. Imagine there is plus 2. Then remember, this point will shift 
up by two units. So this graph would be something like this from here at the base. So the range would have been, because the graph is something like this, the range would have been from two comma infinity. And this big bracket is for the number because that is included, zero is included, whereas infinity is never included. It's always just a normal bracket. Now, in case we had, say, x squared minus 3, then over here you would have to, sorry, down, uh, okay. it's positive x squared, so it will be over here, it would start and it would go something like this. Whereas if it would have been minus x squared minus 3, then it would be like this. So please remember that, and then based on that, you can write the domain and range.